this is an asteroid shock. Okay, we have various asteroids coming at us. We even have interstellar comets coming at us. And that one was uh, found by an amateur astronomer, shockingly. But an NASA email recently revealed that the agency had a surprise at a near hit because it slipped through. They did not trace it. Sebastian Keckley of Express UK reports that an asteroid large enough to devastate a city, this is what they call the city killer asteroids, unexpectedly slipped through NASA's defense net. This is according to the internal emails of the space agency. That's what they reveal. The asteroid, dubbed 2019 OK, brushed past our planet. This is the one that was supposed to fly by very simply, nicely past our moon, beyond the moon, on July 25th. However, this rock was not spotted until it closed in on Earth. NASA later confirmed the asteroid skimmed the planet from a dangerously close distance of just 40,400 miles. This was not the one that flew off beyond the moon. This was one-fifth of the distance to the moon. This one was closer to us. A similar surprise in 2013 was the result of a rogue space rock. More than 1,000 were, people were injured. This is, of course, what we know as the Chelyabinsk Russia uh, meteorite. Uh, the one, more than 1,000 people injured by the shards of blown out windows. Over 7,000 buildings were damaged because of that. It was the sonic boom, the blast. Internal NASA emails obtained by BuzzFeed reveal the U.S. Space Agency was completely caught off guard by this one that just came in a little while ago, 219 OK. One NASA employee said this one did sneak up on us while it flew past Earth at speeds of 52,568 miles an hour. That's 23 kilometers per second. So it's pretty fast. Planetary Defense Officer Lindsey Johnson informed NASA of the close approach July 24th. This was just 24 hours before the asteroid was to arrive. He wrote in his internal memo in NASA, Quote, because there may be media coverage tomorrow, I'm alerting you that in about 30 minutes, 30 minutes, half an hour, right? I'm alerting you that in about 30 minutes, a 57 to 130 meter size asteroid will pass Earth at only 0 0.19 lunar distances. That's only 48,000 miles. 2019 OK was spotted about 24 hours ago, end quote. Now, Paul Chodas of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory later wrote in an email that that asteroid had slipped through the net, meaning they didn't catch that. Their asteroid tracking systems did not catch that. Uh, because of the fact that they don't catch the small ones, they catch the ones that are around... Um, 300, 400, well this is about 300, 390, 400. They were supposed to catch that, and they didn't catch it. Measuring between 187 to 426 and a half feet in diameter, the asteroid was detected by the Southern Observatory for Near-Earth Asteroids Research in Brazil. So Brazil caught it. But NASA didn't catch it. Chotas of NASA said this object slipped through a whole series of our captured nets. A whole series of nets that NASA had did not capture this asteroid. How is that possible? He says, I wonder how many times this situation has happened without the asteroid being discovered at all. Weeks after the planet's close brush with Cataclysm, cataclysm NASA confirmed the rock packed enough power to wipe out an entire city. In a press release a few days later, on August 6, NASA, concerning 2019 OK, stated that it was the largest asteroid to pass this close to Earth in a hundred years. You realize how lucky we were. 
We didn't come closer to us to hit us. You realize how close, how lucky you were. Because the one that was, uh, again, around July 25th, I guess we had, you know, as they told us, asteroids never come in alone. They're at least binary or in groups. Okay, so uh, 2019, okay, was spotted one day before by Brazil. And uh, they had this internal thing going, you know, they, were, they went haywire saying, oh, we didn't catch it. Why didn't we catch it? A whole series of things didn't catch it. Why is that? But another one that was supposed to come flying beyond the moon and into deep space did not do that. It careened into and hit into the Caribbean Ocean. And uh, that's when the astronomers came out explaining to us what the Yarkovsky effect is. When the heat, the radiation of the sun's rays, heats the surface of the asteroid, causing a temperature differential on the surface of the asteroid, and that causes the asteroid to, to, to uh, tumble on its axis. And that's what happened to that asteroid that came careening uh, into Earth and uh, smashed into the Caribbean Sea. That's how they explained it. Instead of going, you know, safely through into, into the space of darkness of, of, of the universe, it careened into Earth. Shocking, isn't it? And they say, they came out saying, yeah, that happens sometimes to small asteroids, which it was, smallish. It wasn't huge. Okay, so it seems like the same time as this one came around, that's the one that came at us as well. It was another one. Maybe it was a group. Maybe it was a group of them coming in together. I have no idea. But they do say that they're, they, at least, they are at least binary, if not groups. This is the same thing that we saw with the Chelyabinks. The Chelyabinks they never saw coming. That uh, flew over, uh, burst over in Russia. But the same day as that one, another one burst over the United States somewhere without any, any casual, any you know, without any injuries or uh, building damage. And they didn't, they didn't see these. Uh, maybe they were binary, you know. And they didn't see these coming. They say it was beyond the sun. That's why they couldn't see it. So now it says here, according to NASA's Center for Near Earth Object Studies, the asteroid was missed due to various unfortunate factors. This asteroid was comparable in size, they say, to uh, the, length, the width of a football field. Can you imagine an asteroid as wide as a football field? Now, first, the rock came in from an orbit that was not fully observed by Earth's telescopes. Secondly, the asteroid's movement was not visible enough against the background of glowing stars to spot its approach. What can I tell you? That's what they said. Okay, so the, glow, the stars were glowing so much that they couldn't see it because of the glowing of the suns, the, the stars. Mr. Chota said, an asteroid of this size coming this close to Earth is a pretty rare event on the order of about twice a century. And an impact by an asteroid of this size is rare still, on average only on the order of once every several thousand years. Thankfully, NASA confirmed the July flyby was the closest the asteroid will come to Earth for another 200 years. So, okay, it'll come again in 200 years. Hopefully this time they'll be able to see it. The approach did, they say, highlight the need for a better ground and space-based detection systems. So, a space expert recently told uh, media that NASA's efforts to protect the Earth are interesting, quote-unquote, but they're not enough. Now, some facts about asteroids, comets, and meteors. Some of the bigger space rocks in the asteroid belt can be as big as 583 miles across, 583 miles across. NASA, they say, estimates a football si field size asteroid colliding with our planet once every 2,000 years or so, like the size of this one was. A car-sized asteroid hits the Earth on average at least once a year. A meteor that survives the fiery descent through Earth's atmosphere is known as a meteorite. As icy comets fly around the solar system, uh, their outer layers sublimate in the sun's heat and leave behind a glowing 
tail. Okay. So that's uh, bad news that they can't catch everything. They're so dangerous that they couldn't at one point hit us. You know, a couple of months ago, we did have something hit us. It was south of the Aleutian Islands, in north area of the Pacific Ocean. And it was, of course, in the, in the sea where there was nobody there. No people living there. And uh, we don't even know if they, if they did kick up, kick up a little bit of a tsunami. It doesn't matter because didn't nobody felt it. So we were lucky that it did not hit any populated areas. It was south of the Aleutian Islands of Alaska, in the sea, in the Pacific Ocean. I'll leave links below for you for this. Obviously, they have to do something to improve their systems. This is uh, this is totally unacceptable, in my book. Uh, when you have amateur astronomers finding things and you don't have space agencies capable enough of doing things like that. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece. In Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.